Today we're working on green and black marble. So what we'll use here is a black background and I've used Matisse background folk black. Let that dry. Gives a nice even background to work on. Then we take the marbling gel and just wax some onto a palette and then add the chrome green oxide and the thallo green to that and let that mix on the sponge. So we're not going to mix it together but we just want to pick up random areas where when we apply it to the background that you've got areas that are quite dense in colour so a lot of a lot of paint and areas with not so much colour and that way we get a real randomness to to the finish that we're looking for. Now you want to do an even coverage but it still wants to be quite random so you don't want any patterns that can take a bit of practice. Now while that coat is still wet we add a little bit more of the faux finish and marbling gel to a palette little bit of white and then run a feather through it. Now by taking this feather and holding it right at the at the end so you sort of get a bit of a shake out of it you want to put veins through that green so the green background and gel is still wet and we're taking the white with marbling gel and applying that to get the veins and while everything's still wet we're going to come in with a really soft brush and just blend the whole lot. Now, the blending will vary in different areas. In some places, especially with the veins, you'll blend it quite heavily. And in other places, you'll leave the veins almost untouched. What we're after is a real variation right across the piece. Because that's what will give you something that looks most realistic. So you can see a real uh, randomness, if you like, across the piece. And real contrast between the areas of light and dark. And what will finish it off once this is all dry is a coat of gloss varnish, or in fact several coats of gloss varnish. And they'll, that will really help to pop the colors out and make the, the marble look really quite realistic.